Good evening and welcome back. This is it, the final game of the season, home to La Cartagena. Had such a good season so far, 113 points into the final of the Copa del Rey, which we unfortunately lost. Couldn't really get much better without that cup win. Can we make it to 116 points? Give something the fans to chew about on the last game at home. And even though Herrera and Mudrick are on a bit of a energy low sort of situation, we are going to keep them in. We have dropped Kosinu. Omaragic missed the last match because of injury. He's come back in. Other than that, full strength lineup. And here it is, the beautiful stadium, La Rosaleda. Nighttime kickoff. Last game of the season. We're not going to count that testimonial that uh, we could potentially play. I don't think I'm going to be showing that on the channel. Probably just uh, play that off uh, off camera or even just sim it. It's just a, a friendly against some of the players that are going to retire this season. But we will keep an eye out for the retiring players coming back as regens. And we are actually playing in our second choice kit. Um, just because of clashes. But also I do really like this sort of ready pink salmon sort of strip it's uh really enjoy playing with it playing in it rather what a good game today to, to finish off in style sexy oh it's a post He's had some season, hasn't he? We are going to look at the stats for the season. At the end of this. We've been looking at every month so far. But we want to look at it as a whole. And I've avoided looking myself. Because I'm wondering if it's going to throw up a few surprises. I'm assuming Xerxes is going to be top scorer. Poor for Mudrick, but he does get a free kick. Got a little bit of luck there. Just a little bit. Not too hard, maybe just not aiming towards the players enough. I normally play it short in those situations, but I thought I'd give it a go. Here's our cast now. Vieira, no doubt. One of the absolute stars of the season. Vieira. Oh, oh. wide. Our captain. Definitely a leader on and off the pitch. You know, the likes of himself, Herrera and Xerxes all came in around about the same time. And they've all done brilliantly in their own way. I'd say Vieira's probably... I don't know, it's hard to say who's my favourite. But ooh, looking a bit tricky here. Good goal, keeping in the end. Bit of a heavy touch from the attacker. And uh, brought the goalkeeper out quickly to pressure him. That's poor from Xerxes. Just turned straight into the defender there. It's a little bit sloppy so far. We're midway through the first half and, you know, already they've had a couple of counter-attacks where they look dangerous. Time to pressure them now, though. They find an out ball, though. Pretty decent ball. And if you didn't manage to catch the end of the last episode, we've actually made a signing for the summer. We've actually got two people coming in now. Um, but we've bought Emerson 
from Tottenham. It's actually a free agent in the summer, so we've signed him for no transfer free, and we've actually got him for a pretty low salary of I think it was about 100, sorry, 830,000. But the normal salary he was on was about two and a half million, so we got him very cheap. We also had a sneaky bid for Alvarez, turned down by him again, free agent in the summer. I mean, there's nothing to stop us going back again. But Emerson was really the one I wanted. We've got some great players in the attacking positions. Um, and some youth players in there that's doing well too. So we weren't as bothered about that. Mudrick. Oh, try to chip the keeper there. But I've said it before, the wing back positions are one we need to improve. Yes, the youngster McDowell is coming in done really well, but in fits and starts, he certainly expe exceeded expectations. But we need that cover as well. So even if we didn't get someone as good as Emerson, we needed that cover. And we've got it now. But he's going to be our first choice right back. Take share on the left. Could probably do with another left back as cover. Whether it's a, an out and out, you know, better player than Texera or just someone of a, a youngster or someone of a similar sort of nature. Arcas, that's wide. Decent effort. It's not quite firing today though for, for our team. Share it with a nice tackle, brings it forward. Carlos Perez nicely played. Zirksi, Mudrick on the overlap. Ah, oh, it's wide. You would expect Mudrick. Time and time again, he's, he's done that out on the left, cut inside. Even from tight angles, he normally buries that. And it's a few foot wide, actually. It's, it's not like it's just shaved the post or anything. Five shot zero on target. That tells you something. I was going to say good defending, but um, no, the referee's given a free kick and. Actually hits the wall. They I don't ever seem to hit the wall. They normally make it over the wall and into the top left hand corner, which I have severe flashbacks because of the final. But there we go. It's nil nil. Bit of a strange half that one. Not much to say about the stats. Pretty even possession. We had chances, but they looked dangerous on the counter as well. Yeah, just not quite at it today. Considering it's the last day of the season, you think the players and will be up for it. Wanting to get plenty of goals, send off for the season before we join into uh, into the first division. Good tackle from Texera there. It's pretty sound defensively, and he's bringing it forward here. A nice ball out wide to Mudrick. On oh, Zuxi with a tap in. Great whip from Teixeira though. Mudrick maybe should have done better. Probably shot wasn't the the right decision there. It was just far too tight. I mean he's done it before, but there that touch, he should have played it back after that. But Zuxi's in the right place at the right time. He scores all sorts of goals. He does get tap ins now. He's got a few rebounds and tap-ins recently. He scored the odd header, although I'd like to improve that. And he scored some great goals. A lot of team goals he scores. You know, one-twos and first-time touches and things like that. Um, be hard pushed to get a, 
a better all round centre forward than him the way he's playing no one's going to tackle Tech Sheriff so he might as well have a go Ooh. I was waiting for that defender to come forward so I could play it to Mudrick didn't come so why not have a go and it's well, it's well over in the end But we've got the goal. Um, want a bit of better performance than this, though. Oh, and that's a shocking ball. Good block, though. Poor passes there. I thought Fabio Vieira was going to get it back after himself playing a poor ball. Lovely ball Vieira that time though. And not sure what happened there. Just seemed to run into the defender. That's a foul. And that is a foul. That was poor. Yellow. Yeah, to be honest, that probably was maybe a bit unlucky because it was his first foul, but it wasn't great. We're going to make some subs. So we're going to bring on Caulfield for McDowell just because he's got some tired legs there. Mudrick is going to come off for Harrington, and we're going to bring on Bajer and attack a midfielder all in place of Vieira. Let's hope the subs can have an impact. Harrington's been playing really well recently. When we looked at the stats for last month, he was actually up there in terms of the, the top three ratings and assists. So he had a really good month. Had a lot more game time than usual. And um, he made it count. Xerxes, eyes oh, offside. Yeah, just... He is offside, but... Marginally. Nice header from Herrera. And again, Zirx, he stopped his run just as I was about deciding to play that pass. And that's poor from the keeper. Oh, well, the, probably the defender passing to him wasn't uh, the best. Get away with it, though. Really playing dangerous stuff when they don't need to. Nice pass in there. Oh, shouldn't have said that. That was going to be a free kick, but the referee played on quite rightly so. Good tackle though from Kovacevic. Nice ball to Xerxes, but Xerxes is just a little bit too tired to get to that. And he's not slow, but he's not the quickest either. Um, oh, a nice little one to Herrera. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he does not score many goals, but when he does, they're normally 20 yards. 20 yarders. Be interested to see how many he scored this season. I'm going to guess about three maybe three or four and I swear all of them have been uh, similar to that he's dropped deeper than when we first signed him and it's working well he does the dirty work he does the jobs that maybe people don't see him do he plays it simple Let's the likes of Vieira, you know, Perez, Mudrick, you know, have all of that attack up front. And um, he keeps the back solid and that midfield ticking over. He's got a good partnership with Vieira. Good clearance there. And it finds Harrington. Now Xerxes, Perez. Ah, that was not... I wasn't trying to pass to Xerxes. I was trying to pass it back out wide to Hamilton. That was not uh, what I was planning at all. And again, they're playing a little bit risky. 
I mean, take risks, but not passing around your own six yard sort of area when you're 2 0 down. Sixty, good save. And here's Alcas. Jet. Jet, good save. Made it look better than it actually was. Must have been offside there from the shot. Yeah, it was. Well, you wouldn't say spectacular last game of the season, but three points and at least a couple of goals is pretty good. And the season we've had, you can understand it not being... Um, I mean, it's all done and dusted now, so you can understand them not having the most intense game. A nice ball there. A nice ball again. Lovely play. Maybe overplaying it a bit. Perez. Oh, ho, ho. that's more like it. I think I did overplay that a little bit. But in the end, it's turned out to be a, a fantastic team goal. I'm not even going to say who passed the ball there because it was just backwards and forwards between several different players. Perez involved in the heart of it. Beautiful finish in the end, though. I was just trying to bide my time and find the right spot because you take a shot from certain situations and 95% of the time the defenders will block it. So I was trying to pick a time where I thought I could get it past them. And it worked out well. 3-0, that's a bit more like it, a little bit more convincing. And a really nice goal to to finish on. And the sort of goals we're used to as a team, that sort of 1-2 first touch play. Don't want to let in a goal though. What a save. What a save from Schubert. I'm so glad he saved that because he deserves a clean sheet and... This almost goes right back to his first ever match for ourselves. Where, I mean, this save was nowhere near the level of the one I'm thinking of. But his first match for ourselves, he had an unbelievably world-class save. I've never seen a save like it in pairs. Um, and that's a simple catch there. Just boot it upfield. And there it is. 3-0. Last game of the season. Couldn't really ask for too much more than that. Solid performance, clean sheet, good goals, fantastic end of the season. What a bunch of lads. Well, there we go. We finished the uh, last game of the season on a 50 50 possession, which is not like ourselves. Normally we're around about that 58 to 62 possession mark, but in the end, it's goals that matter. And rating-wise, Zerg's the man of the match. Really not surprised at that. Perez, yep, I think he was in, in for man of the match as well. Subs did okay when they came on. Nothing spectacular. Just a great all-round performance. Some great, yeah, I mean, everyone got at least a six from the starting eleven, which you don't normally get because normally the back four, the goalkeeper, because they're not involved as much, they normally end up getting fives or 5.5s. Great all-round performance. And just to look at the table, 116 points, 37 wins, only 5 draws, and 0 losses. Perfect season, unbeaten, only let in 17 goals. That's, that's crazy, 107 plus goal difference, 29 points ahead. Remember earlier on in the season, we did have a little bit of a run where we dropped down a little bit. We dropped down to, I think, about third position, and we had a few draws in a row. You know, I was thinking, God, is this... This is going to be really tough. And then in the end, our team settled. We brought in a few players. But it was more just that the players that we currently had were just settled into a formation that we liked. And team of the season, some familiar faces in there that you would expect. One that I wouldn't. Zerxi and Carlos Perez picked to be up top. Vieira and Herrera in midfield. Absolutely brilliant choices. H, though, didn't expect that. And he's actually leaving in the summer. And here we are, we're just looking at the final stats for the season. So just looking through the list here, you can see Xerxes, top of the goal scoring with 38 goals from 39 matches played. Carlos Perez, our second top scorer. And actually, look at that, 46 games he played. Even higher than Schubert, which is a goalkeeper. And especially Schubert, at one point he was the only goalkeeper we had. Bajer played 45 games, Vieira played 43. 
Some other standout performances, Arcas, 6.4 overall rating, 10 goals, 11 assists, played 39 games. He played pretty much all across the front line and midfield. He played in every position. The likes of Carlson will be going, Hetich and Rice are going. Mudrik came in in January, played 21 games, 17 goals and 8 assists with a rating of 7. He's been absolutely fantastic. Vieira, overall 6.5, seems a bit low compared to what I thought it would be. But for Pez, that's a really good average rating. But more importantly, he ru- he runs the midfield. Herrera, I did say when he scored in the, the last match, I think he had either scored three or four goals. And I was pretty much bang on the money, he scored four. And I'm pretty sure all four goals were from outside the box. He won't get the stats. He's there to do his job in midfield, to break up play a little bit, play some nice passes. He tends not to venture too far forward, and that's what we need. Shout out to Kostinu as well. Very powerful, quick, commanding. If uh, if it wasn't for Vieira, I'd probably say he would be captain. And Schubert, what a keeper. First game he played, he made a world-class save. I still don't know how he saved it. Point blank, reaction save, down low to his right. It was a bit like that, the Gordon Banks save off Pele. It was just ridiculous. And he's had a few saves like that. And I haven't seen a goalkeeper I've bought in pairs before have so many quality saves, considering the majority of the time we are attacking. So he's pulled off some fantastic saves. And just looking at the average stats for the season for the team, average possession was 60%, which is pretty much bang on what I thought. Shots are averaging around about 13 with about 8.5 on target and only facing two with just over one being on target. Passes, I said, I think in the last match around about 120, 130 is our average, and that's right. Scoring-wise, we seem to score in the middle of the halves more than the beginning or the end, but it's fairly even, and we tend to score what would be probably around about the time we start making substitutions, which is interesting. And if you look at conceded, through balls are massively something that we need to improve on we do tend to find that when we're letting in goals it's like a clean ball through the middle it's splitting the defense and just have a look some further stats for the players the likes of Vieira are having the dribbling success massively more than any other player there passing as well he's top passes received he's top tackles one look at that costume with 102 Herrera with 96 again like I said he breaks up the play a lot May get the odd foul on there, but he breaks things up, and more often than not, he'll win it. Aerial battles won. Kosinu's up there. Herrera's up there again. Shooting Xerxes with a 38% success rate, which is really good for a young player. The likes of him obviously he wants to improve that eventually, but just some really good all-round stats there. It's really interesting to see that in a, bit, a little bit further detail, because there are some stuff, even me playing with these players and with the team, don't notice as much. And I do know Herrera's a good player, but maybe looking at this, he's probably better than what I think. He's he's on the dribbling, he's on the passes received, he's on the passes made, he's on the aerial battles won, he's on the tackles won. There's a lot of stuff he does in there that maybe goes a little bit unnoticed because he's not scoring the goals, he's not getting the assists, he's doing the hard work. Overall, he's he's right up there with some of our more obvious players who, who are the better players. But that's it for this season. But what a season it's been. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Now, obviously, we're going to keep this going for a long time. Certainly, at least for the next two or three seasons, we're going to keep playing because we want to settle ourselves in Division 1. We want to, of course, we want to try and win Division 1, but we want to try and get in those European places for Champions League. And then we actually want to play in the Champions League. So it's going to be at least another two seasons I'm going to play this. Probably a lot longer. I want this to be a very long run. Pez 6, I only played for two seasons, and the reason I only cut that short was because I wanted to get my hands on this. I've loved it so far, had some brilliant matches, some heartache in the cup final. I want to get uh, revenge on that, get revenge against Barcelona when we're in Division 1. We're also going to see some new youth team players coming up, potentially going to be some regions in there as well. We've got a couple of new players that we've already signed on pre-contracts. A little bit more money to play with, not a massive amount I don't think, but we are going to have to bolster our squad a bit because we've got some players leaving and we're already running a bit thin on the ground. And as always, wouldn't be here without you guys and your support. For anyone that has watched it and continues to watch it, I really do appreciate that. And if you're just dropping in, please do think about subscribing just so you can keep up to date with the channel. 
like I say, this is going to continue pretty much almost daily. I do normally use Sundays as some of my playthroughs. So recently I've been doing Resident Evil 4. When that comes to an end, there's probably something else that's going to take its place on a Sunday. But for the majority of the other days, it's going to be PES 2021. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Drop a comment down below what you thought of the series so far. But as always, thank you so, so much. Join me next time and I'll see you then.